welcome to my channel my name is Deepa and this is Divine Tarot so in today's video I'm gonna give you guys the update or what's happening in the twin twin story so yeah so let's check so today I am starting my reading with using the wild unknown tarot deck yeah so let's check like what's happening or what's going on yeah So right, so the first card that I have is Seven of Pentacles. Wow, so there is good progress. Because in this card, you can see it's an ascension. It's a forward motion. Like if you're watching this video, this is spirits telling you that there is miracles happening behind your story. And it can even be your twin, you know, coming to the fact of who are you and all of that. Everything comes like there is ascension, you know, your twin may, you know, like, you know, uh, leave the karmics and, you know, leave the karmic workplace, fam, and all of that. Like, all of those scenarios, so there is ascension, there is growth, right? So, there is growth, right? So, I'm seeing this word, this card as growth, right? And then we have the four of pentacles. So, I'll tell you what this talks about. So, if seven of pentacles talks about growth, four of pentacles talks about, like, areas, different areas of life that need, you know, focus, Right. For example, you need career, health, right? All of that. That need a lot of, you know, focus on. So I think divine feminine, even you are doing this, right? So it's a ripple, right? If this is like mirror souls, yeah. So if your twin is doing, even you are doing. If you are doing, your twin is also doing. So there is massive growth, and the growth is stable because both are earth signs, right? Oh my God. So your person is choosing what makes him happy like right sun right sun like the sun card talks about happiness and growth yeah it talks about um you know finding you in happiness yeah your person is like highly in awe of you and your person is seeing even you are you know redoing your life so your person is taking inspiration because you know to me the sun card is also inspiration yes and this sun card also talks about i am hearing hawaii for some reason yeah like hawaii right right yeah so your person is seeing that you are choosing happiness you are choosing your growth and well-being and sun also in astrology talks about your health so you are focusing on your on your health and even mental health and emotional health and your person is taking inspiration so this combination to me talks about inspiration like seeing you achieve things right if i am building a house even my twin wants to do that like yeah so it talks about that and victory six of wands to me is you know like that cocoon and you know burst into butterfly and all of that six of wands to me talks about a victory card so if you know you have any doubts on your twin willy he will right and you have to trust 100% it also I'm hearing the word trust here so you know you have to trust your twin 100% right and then we have the card of temperance right temperance talks about balancing I'm hearing balance of day and night <laughs> yeah so I, I for some strange reason to me you know this talks about day or night balance like 12 hours 12 hours like you may be in a place where day is more night is more or something like that yeah so you know I'm hearing like day routine, night routine, yeah, like skincare, <laughs> yeah, so um, temperance talks about balance, but balance not only because this is followed by sun and six of wands, balance in terms of your chakras, again, you know, of lately in my readings, you know, solar and sun, um, solar and sacral chakra, it's very predominant because in this card also it talks about that, like, you know, energy accumulation in the center and temperance talks about balancing things balancing things i think even your sleep your food your lunch and dinner i'm hearing lunch and dinner maybe some of you are skipping that please don't do that i think here you know you have also spirit you know telling you about everything like what you should not do yeah so spirit is if you're skipping lunch and dinner please don't do that eat little at least yeah of how much you are hungry yeah and then you have eight of swords so if you are a little bit unwell like you have like health issues to me this is health issues right so i think it will improve once you make a schedule once you make a plan yeah i think your div divine masculine for example we always wants me to you know follow a schedule follow a 
pattern follow a day to night like we always is uh, irritated with my work schedule and all of that so yeah i think v is also telling me so divine feminine i've seen div- mostly divine feminines are very workaholic so i think you know um, universe is asking you to prioritize your sleep your well being and all of that yeah this is more of like spirit and your divine masculine yeah right so i've seen one thing in divine masculine they're very health conscious yeah all the divine masculines so divine feminine we catch that right and then we have the six of cups six of cups is you know which you can see the roots which are very strong yeah six of cups is generally the card of bread crumbing so what i'm hearing here so yeah so six of cups talks about balancing right so your person is trying to like you know earlier what all you spoke so i am seeing this as old conversations so earlier what all conversations you guys had your person is revisiting rereading them to me six of cups is that like you are reading your old conversations yeah and your person is realizing of how much you showered love because six of cups also talks about showering love like how much you love showered love on your twin yes right and judgment talks about your person you know the number one quality your person is like you know how much pure your love is because judgment i'm seeing as a you know the wife kind of card but here i'm seeing as your person retrospecting with the old conversations that you always had been honest and you know he retrospecting that you know it you know he wants this to himself you know someone loving him so pure yeah because divine feminine's love is unconditional right yeah even your divine masculine is yeah but in the initial stages it is always divine feminine and the hermit yeah the hermit here talks about break i don't see it as you know going really into hermit mode because you are you know god is asking you a lot to set set uh, set schedules and you know your day night and all of that sleep pattern i and today my channeling today is more about like you know um you know on your health yeah both of you divine feminine and divine masculine like your workout schedule like your eating schedule like what you are putting in your body and all of that so right so your universe is asking you to work on that yeah to me the hermit year is taking a break like a breather like you know just sleeping for 8 hours today to me the hermit year talks about that and then we have ace of wands you can see ace of wands year is you know feeling fresh i am hearing that feeling fresh feeling rejuvenated feeling excited feeling amazing and all of those adjective ace of wands also talks about high passion so your person feels high passionate towards you like is sexually driven yeah i'm getting like i'm hearing like you know a person wants to kiss you very bad <laughs> maybe it feels like you're a you know very pretty and dolly <laughs> yeah so ace of wands here talks about like rejuvenation i hear the word rejuvenation so maybe you know your twins are like strained with your work and all of that i am really i need a break i want to sleep yeah right and then we have three of pentacles three of pentacles talks about a collaboration yeah three of pentacles also talks about your workspace you project new projects three of pentacles also talks about three people coming in a union like you know and i always say the triangle is you know universe divine masculine and divine feminine so i'll tell you what happens when you rejuvenate you also get lot the signs more nicely you catch up the synchronicities better because you know you are physically fit so this to me talks about physical fitness is of wands here so i'm going to go to another deck so i'm going to go into sacred destiny today a lot about rejuvenation yeah it's very predominant right so it talks about what you're putting in your body yeah right so let's check like what so i saw simplicity card in the you know in the below maybe a person really likes your simple lifestyle like how you're so simple how you are not complex right to decode you're so simple yeah right and then we have the power the card of power yeah so a lot about energy your energy your enthusiasm like you know e i or e a lot like energy enthusiasm power and all of that like that a boost of energy like a person you know really likes even your intellectual power yeah so it all talks about power so a lot about rejuvenation i think you know you need rest yeah that's what i'm feeling seriously and your person also likes your leadership so leadership talks about you know taking the lead yeah in divine feminine your case your person really likes your leadership qualities so it no not be like you are a political leader or something like that it can be you know how you are born and brought up and how you stand by a cause right and I, because this is followed by power you can see both the cards look similar it all talks about taking in charge and your person is appreciating like how you stand by causes or you know um if you if you spoke about any cause or anything your person is like 
really in admiration so there's a lot of admiration and inspiration here yeah and then we have security like i said you know your person really feels like i said every divine masculine feels like you know protecting you is primary yeah like you know it can be even energy protection remember that you always feel i always said that when i um, like i want to break free these energy has always uh, you know surrounded me and you know i cannot go anywhere like yeah that is also energy security like you know putting you in a circle yeah and i always said that i feel like you know a queen in a castle yeah protected by him right security also talks about you know i'm also hearing bank security i do not know why yeah but i'm hearing bank security i'm hearing like um, national security or all, all these terms are like coming to me i'm also hearing about you know i'm also hearing about child security like all forms of security like maybe your person is building a future because security me talk security to me talks about future like how you guys you know build there is a lot of you know um, planning future here like it's very predominant in all of the cards that we got yeah because uh, you know seven of pentacles because we started with the reading today with seven of pentacles which talks about you know pro progress uh, ascension a way forward a uh, plan of future because it, we also got judgment here right so i want you to trust and believe right and then we have change so yeah so your person is this is the first time that i got this card it's so beautiful right so i'm seeing crazy horses like all breeds of horses like ponies like you know i've seen a horse today that has spots yeah like zip like you know like um like spots like you know how you have the jersey cow like that yeah so right so a lot of you know this is like an exhibition right that you know that horse yeah so i'm getting that you know exhibition emoji with that horse right in what you have in your whatsapp so he's willing to make the change and putting the monotonous you know schedule because we are also talking about you know your day night day and night yeah so right you know that this is you know mechanized like it's a robotic horse that spins right it it goes round and round so your person is willing to put that monotonous you know schedule that he had he wants a change in his life yeah i want to try new things like you right and then he wants freedom so uh, evident the cards today are very beautiful this combination right he wants to you know rigidity to me security is also about rigidity like he wants to quit the rigidity and you know take chances in life like you know bring in change like different like i seeing a person you know choosing the road that he has never walked yeah and he wants to walk this with you the one feminine simplicity the card of simplicity many of you must be seeing feathers and all of that yeah simplicity is all about like modesty honesty simplicity can be you know a lifestyle like i have just quit everything all of those party and all of that like i am just a simple chick yeah that loves a home cooked meal i watching my netflix show and all of that yeah and you know even if i'm going out like i just like simplicity not in clothing <laughs> but yeah simplicity in lifestyle yeah i am okay eating you know at a uh, you know at the simplest of like simple like i am okay you know uh, eating like going just to have an ice cream and all of that simplicity like just simplicity yeah so action so we have the card of action and yeah so i have seen you know many things happen in aquarius like in february aquarius yeah so i have seen always that you know february is all about action even if it's aquarius yeah even after that if you have aries yeah even after that what am i saying even after that you have pisces and aries some reason aries striked me yeah so it's all about action right so aquarius has the saturns like it's a pentacles and water and all mixed aquarius is a all in one kichdi sign i always consider that because you feel every emotion in aquarius i have seen that mainly in february aquarius it's all about celebration yeah i've seen many people celebrate even i met v in february right and uh, miracles yeah yesterday i watched a jlo video which spoke about miracles yeah so it's a miracle and if you see here you have two rainbows and i've seen that twins always separate and again come back yeah so it's a rebound it's a rebounds it's a you know a boomerang yeah so miracle talks about you know massive changes and spirit here telling you that you know rainbow will come right and transformation but i'm feeling like the transformation is complete because we already got six of one that has you know 
the butterfly right now i'm gonna go into this cards which you know i've used less so i'm gonna use this i really like you know the gold of this i am gold aura yeah gold aura let's check so i am gonna inter interpret these cards decode these cards based on my own intuition and my own energy a lot about you know growth a lot your know, today's reading is about growth uh, which is towards positivity, which is towards, you know, seven of pentacles is towards ten of pentacles. So that's the road. Yeah. So we have, yeah, harvesting. Like, yeah, you're about to have the rice. You're about to, you know, have the food. Like, yeah, exactly a seven of pentacles wipe. And ten, which all talks about, you know, a double digit. You're entering the double digit, right? Yeah. And yeah, it's very beautiful. So I'm going to check with this guy like what does he say about this so you know they have their own meaning so let's check like if i find something to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun exactly i felt like even a harvest yeah i am swift and sharp i got through with precision okay This symbol can represent a call to action, particularly when combined with cards. Okay, so it's a call to action, right? So I see this as seven of pentacles, you know, which is about to like, you know, they're about to reach there. Like, you know, you're reaching your goal. I feel like that reaching your goal. I hear that. So whatever you see is your target. You're reaching the goal. Yeah. And then we have the card of 36. Yeah. This to me talks about. So we have a cross here. So you may be, be believer of, you know. Jesus, I really believe Jesus because you know I've studied in a Christian school, right? No wonder my English is good because of that, right? Cross. Okay. So you know that you know uh, Jesus was crucified on this. So you know that you know a massive pain phase came to an end. Yeah, that's what the reader here tells. Even I resonate to that. But I see a completion, like you know physically. Because, you know, physically you may have overcome, you know, a change, a lifestyle change, you know, suddenly you will start, you know, quitting things, you know, what you were eating, like smoking, drinking, everything you'll start quitting. To me, this talks about like transformation because butterflies here came twice. It all talks about transformation, like, you know, change. Yeah. And it, and to me, this is like a done energy. Like it's done. Like it's past. Yeah. Another card is we have the 35 and we have like, you know. You are, you know, solidifying your emotions because you know that an anchor of a boat is when you put like to make the boat stable, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, solidifying your emotions. I'm hearing this. Like you are like getting a clarity on your emotions. Even your divine masculine is getting a clarity, right? So always try to get you divine feminine have to get first for your divine masculine to be sure. Like, you know, I made every video telling about V is my twin flame. He is my the one. He is my husband. He is my spiritual husband. I have baby, you know, I have spiritual babies with him in 5D. And all of that, it's, it's a confirmation. It's believing. It all talks about belief. And Anchor also talks about belief. Like, you know, solidifying your emotions. Yeah. And then we have the card of 37, which all talks about time. So this to me, if you're watching this, it's about a divine timing. Yeah. So it's a very like you know like that cuckoo that, <laughs> that you know that bird comes out and does that right so it's that it's about you know that amazing like i see this as divine timing so i'm gonna flash this you know it's gonna be divine timing for somebody yeah right i just catch divine timing so it's for some of you here right you might watch this video when it's your divine timing you might watch this video two years down the line and it, and it may be your divine timing yeah, it, this is to me crystal clear divine timing. Yeah, 37, which it talks about 10 again. And then we have the card of two. I see Lucky Lo Clovis, Lucky Clovis, yeah. So I hear the Jennifer Lopez song, you know. I feel like a four-leaf clover. She says that, right? So your person feels very lucky, yeah. So I've spoken about, you know, how V wakes up to my face. Like he watches my videos, my account. He checks out what I'm doing and all of that. So you're the lucky charm. Your person knows it, huh? Let me tell you. Your person knows it. You're the lucky charm. These are different, you know, different kinds of sets. And then we have the 17, with, you know, with, which is like Queen of Cups, you can see here. Yeah, it talks about love. It talks about pets. So you are very strong Cancer, Scorpio, 
and Pisces. So it's a very strong Pisces card, yeah. King of Cups is a Cancer card and Death card is Scorpion. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, right? And yeah, so Queen of Cups talks about, you know, massive, like, you know, uh, the two, the pair, yeah. So a person is in admiration of your beauty because you know that, you know, swans are known for their beauty, yeah. I'm also hearing flamingos, even if they are not pink. I'm also hearing that. So it all talks about your beauty. Like your person has seen you beautify over the time. Because Queen of some Cups is something from one year. Yeah. So from one year, your person has seen your massive beauty, like a transformation in your beauty, in your physical beauty. Because to me, always swans are about beauty. Yeah. So I'm going to go into another deck. So we have another. So today's reading is all about like, you know, calming down. Because if you see, I'm very calm in today's video. So it's all about calming down, taking a breather, rejuvenation and all of that. So I'm going to use this tarot deck. And let's check on timing. I know today's video is very calm. You'll see me calm today. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to flash a few cards and it may be to somebody. Yeah. So the first card that I have is delays but long lasting success would be there yeah so exactly seven of pentacles vibe yeah even if there is a delay it's stable yes tomorrow something is happening tomorrow wow well, tomorrow something is happening tomorrow yeah delays you are in hanging position by your own will oh my god there is something that you need to swift a change yeah, you need to create the sh shift. You need to have positive thoughts. I'm hearing positive thoughts. So, you know, spirit is asking you to have positive thoughts. And then we have December. Something is happening in December. Maybe you guys might in December. Yeah, maybe you guys. I spoke to V the first time in December. Yeah, right. So, December. So, I spoke to him December the first time. Again, when we reconnected, I spoke to him December the first time. So, twice. Yeah. In between, again, we have December. 21st December and 20th Jan, right? Something is about to happen. It can be your birthday or your person's birthday within a month. So within a month, something is happening. And another card, yes, spring. So you have in spring season, something happening in spring season. So that was your reading. Yeah, it was very calm. It's more of like, you know, um, asking you to rejuvenate because, you know, there is some shift that's happening. Yeah, and even the cards say that there is something that, you know, God wants you to reset. And let's start February 1st, Aquarius season with a bang. So that's your title. Yeah, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, this is Deepa bidding goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, this is Deepa bidding goodbye. Bye, guys.